Today, let's learn how to create cut lines on your Kiss Cut sticker sheet using Adobe Illustrator. I have another video where I showed you how to use this doing using Adobe Photoshop. So today, we're just gonna try out a new tool and I will leave a link to the other one below in case you like that one instead. Now remember, if you would like to create and sell your own stickers, whether those are physical stickers, printables, or digital stickers, then make sure to sign up for Sticker Camp. That is Stickers 101. I called it Sticker Camp. It just sounded really cute. Stickers 101, um, and I will leave a link to that below. That will kick off very soon. All right, this is your Adobe Illustrator file that I've also provided to you inside of Planner Pixie. So over here, you'll see original stickers, Adobe Illustrator. So just to follow on from yesterday's tutorial, all of these are originals. So you can see these were all hand drawn um, by somebody and not me. I wish I knew how to use Illustrator, but I don't. Um, but if you want the original file because you want to edit it or you want to make changes, it's here. And then the second, I want to say page, but I think in Illustrator you say artboard. The second artboard has all of the cut lines that match the top. So let's say all you want to do is a simple edit. You want to delete some stuff. You could take this, um, and I believe you can just select it. All of these are grouped together, and I can hit the delete button, Oops, and it's gone. Now, obviously, the cut file still has those in there, so I can come down here. Let me ungroup these because I think they're all grouped. And if I just select this one item, I can hit the delete button and now it's gone. So now in theory, my sticker page and my cut file page are matching. So the other thing you might run into issues with is let's say the cut lines that I've made here are just too close, right? So some of the machines are not as sensitive to the calibration or the calibration is off. So you just need to make a wider cut line. So let's take, um, let's take the XOXO, right? So here's the cut lines. Let me move this over here. Let's make some new cut lines. So you're just gonna go over here to Object, Path, Offset Path. Uh, make sure this says round, it says 0 0.15, but I wanna make it bigger, so I'm gonna say 0 0.25. Um, and now maybe it's too big, so maybe I'll say 0 0.20. There we go. Um, and then I will say OK. And then I'm gonna go to Window, and I'm gonna make sure there's a check mark in front of Pathfinder. And then over here, I'm just gonna select this first box, which is Unite. Um, honestly, I don't know what the other boxes do. I just know that Unite will like put them all together. Um, so here's my new like cut shape, but obviously I don't need it to be uh, this big. So I, what I could do is I can, let me get rid of this. Um, I could actually fill this over here with white. Um, and then I could also take this over here and I could fill, so if a white line on a white background, you're not gonna see. So I'm just, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna make it red so you can see it. Um, and I don't know why that O is there. So let's just, let's just ungroup this really quick. Um, and maybe we need to ungroup this. All right, so we can just delete. So you can delete that whole middle object. You only need this cut file image because uh, your cut file that you send to, well, for sure for Cricut, uh, you just need the path around it. Um, and now I can see, like when I hover over it, I can see that it's back in the center. So, or maybe it's a little over here. So now when I send it through, I can just do that. Now you're gonna have to do that one by one for each of them. Is there a quicker way to do this? I don't know, maybe, again, I'm not the expert in <laughs> Illustrator, but I wanted to show that to you in case you had to make some changes here or there. If you have any questions on this file or how to edit it, definitely leave them in the comments below. And if I know the answer, I will answer it. If not, I will find out for you. All right, this file is inside of Planner Pixies, inside of the secret video for today, um, as well as all the other files, the PNGs by themselves, the, this as an InDesign file, and you get all of these uh, sticker images as PNGs as well. So happy stickering. <laughs>